morning, Western Heights friends and family. It's Friday and time for another minister's moment. In Matthew 25, Jesus has been talking about what the kingdom of heaven is like. I want to, I want to read uh, Matthew 25, starting verse 14. He says, again, it will be like a man who is going on a journey, who called his servants and entrusted his wealth to them. To one he gave five bags of gold, to another two bags, and to, one, uh, uh, to another one bag, each according to his ability. Then he went off on a journey, and you probably know the rest of the story, that the man who had received five bags put his, put his money to work and got five more bags. The man who got two bags of gold put his money to work and gained two more. But the one who only received one bag of gold was scared, and he goes out into a field and he, he finds a spot and he buries the money for safekeeping. Of course, the master comes back and calls the servants into account for what they have done with the money, with the gold, uh, gold bags. So the first one shows up, the one who received five, and he's excited, and he says, Master, Master, you've entrusted me with five gold ba or bags of gold. I have gained five more. The master replied then, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's joy. The second servant then is called in and he's also excited because he, he received two bags and he has doubled as well. He has four bags now to offer back to his master. And the same thing happens. The master says, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Enter into your master's joy. The third servant, he hears the master's coming, so he heads back into his field and he goes, digs back up this one bag of gold that he's been given and he presents it to the master. He gives him and he says this, I knew that you were a hard man, harvesting where you had not sown and gathering where you had not scattered seed. So I was afraid and went out and hid your gold in the ground. See, here's what belongs to you. The master does not have anything good to say. He says, you wicked, lazy servant. So you knew that I harvested where I had not sown and gathered where I had not scattered seed. Well, you should have at least put my money on deposit with the bankers. Then I would have received it at least with interest. And then he casts out the servant where there's weeping and gnashing of teeth. The problem with this third servant was not that his knowledge of the master was wrong. In fact, the master says, you knew this about me. The problem with the third servant is that he didn't apply the knowledge into action. I'm starting a new series this Sunday that is, that is, that is called Adverbs, that we need to add verbs to our faith, that Christianity is a noun and nouns need verbs to make sense. Well, this is one of those stories that for a faithful servant to make sense, they actually have to do something. See, it's not simply about what all of our, what our thoughts were or how we felt in different situations. In the end, whenever we're all counted, uh, accounting before Jesus, we don't want to hear him simply say, hey, you know what? Well thought out. Well felt. No, what we want to hear is well done good and faithful servant. And the only way that we're going to do that is to not do what the third servant did by going out into the field that he had buried the talent that he was given and present it back unscathed. The only way that we're going to hear the master say, well done, good and faithful servant, is if we take what we've been given and we use it for God's glory. So I don't know what you've been given We've all been given wonderful opportunities. And right now we can think of with, with the whole coronavirus and everything going on, we're like, man, I, what can I do? Well, look around of what you've been given. And maybe that's an indicator of what you can do. Figure out something that you can do for God's glory today and go and do it. Don't just ponder it and think about it. Go and actually do it. And I have no doubt you will be blessed because in the end, God will say, well done, good and faithful servant. Come and enter into my joy.
That's what every one of us wants. So let's pursue the joy of the master with the things that we do. Hope you have a blessed day today. See you next time.